Yo! Whipper! What's the deal? Hey! How you doing? I'm good. How you feeling? I'm feeling like a champion. You should. I mean, <laughs> you out here 2020 is being good to you right now. No, real shit, man. This shit been going up. Has it? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, first, so let's kind of get back into a little of your background. You're from Houston, but you was raised in Arizona, right? Yeah. Okay, and how has that impacted, like, your musical abilities or ear or whatever? It's like somebody in your family did music or what? Yeah, the so, like, growing up in Houston, you know, uh, the culture of music back then was, like, a lot of freestyle music, you know what I mean? So, like, mm -hmm. we used to just, like, do the whole, you had the little board in the house, you know what I'm saying, that little oh, thing? yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to do that all day in Houston and just freestyle on on beats. And so, uh, yeah, like as far as me being an artist, that's usually how I start making all my music, just freestyling hooks, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and then just cutting them up and making them records. Okay. And, you know, you, start, how do I, you started off making beats, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that came from, like, just growing up, just making them beats on the table, on the kitchen table. That's exactly what it came from, yeah. I, I played the drums. Uh, and shit growing up and like one of my boys was like hey bro like you be beating on the table playing playing the drums and shit like it's pro it's uh what was it fruity loops it's like it's fruity loops mm -hmm. nigga you can download that shit for free and make beats and that's how that shit all started how old were you this is like ninth grade maybe like 15 15 14 oh, okay and so how long after that did you actually meet up with yg because that's how you kind of got started was making beats for him right yeah yeah so uh shit i was probably making beats for like like uh, two years maybe um and uh my boy he had met yg uh my boy will clay shout out to will clay um he had met yg and was like bro i want to make a song with him can you make a beat and then shit that's how that shit got cracking so and that was the i don't give a fuck beat right yep yeah that yep, was yep, your yep. first one that was my first shit and then like after that you got signed right yeah, after that I got signed, and then I got signed as an artist. And then we just been on the artist tip ever since. How long ago was that you got signed? Uh, Maybe like, maybe a, two years ago, maybe. If, oh, if that. that's still recent. That's yeah, still recent. yeah. All right, and how has it been working with YG? Wait, where did Karen Civil, did Karen Civil come into play with the signing? Like, where did she come into play? So KC, KC been around like for like the past year. Um, KC has been on the back, on you know, behind the scenes, just like gearing shit up for this for this release. Uh, so yeah, she's been around for like the past year. Okay, and so how has it been working with YG and like Karen Silver and all of them? Man, shit been fired. Like we like a family, you know what I mean. So we all close knit. So it's been a one. They they taking me up for sure. Really? And so where do you feel like you're at in your career right now? I think we like at the very, very, very beginning stage. You know what I mean, like. You know, not too many people know about me, and I think uh, I think people started to like really get to know about me. So, yeah, I think it's it's at the very at the ground level, but we about to go we about to go stupid. And you know, when I when I just look at you, I would feel like you a rapper, but you be singing, huh, see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll be on my singing shit. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you got the new song out right now um, with Anne Marie. Yeah, like this, like this. So now we just dropped the video yesterday, actually. So yeah. Okay, and I know the song was about a girl that you was dating. Are you still dating this girl or what? <laughs> we got to know the, you fine, baby. You know, no. <laughs> the T, the T, the T. Nah, um, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not dating her no more. No, nah, uh, I'm single. Um, yeah, but you know, uh, I think um, if you do it right, you're not gonna have no bad blood in any relationship that you was in. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, well, what are you been quarantining with then? So, shit, <laughs> me, me, myself, and I, man. Okay, so you've been making music then. We gonna say that. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, we've been focused. We've been focused. We've been you focused. Been focused. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, that's what's up. So, how would you describe your next project that's coming out? Uh, the next project is um is basically just like me, uh, you know, kind of talking to myself because you know I, I've been in LA for a few years now, and you know I've, I've been single. Um, and I've been in relationships and, you know, sometimes I haven't did what I w what was needed to do to make it work. And, you know, and, and, and right now in my life, I just feel like for the right one, you know, you got to step up for, it, you know what I'm saying? And, and do what the fuck you got to do for that person and, you know, and not fuck it up and regret it. So this whole next project is, is, is on that type of time. You know what I'm saying? Like I can, I can get my shit together for you type shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, so are you looking for the right one? 
I wouldn't say looking for it, but, but if it came, you would be cool. If it fell in my lap, I would accept it with open arms for sure. Okay, so in the past <laughs> relationships, what has been the biggest thing that you've done to like mess the relationship or not being ready for that relationship? Um, the biggest thing I've done to not to mess it or not be ready. Um, I'm not really like ah, uh, biggest thing I've ever done. Maybe just like moving how I move and just just you know like if I gotta go out or do some shit with my boys or you know like if I'm going out with like you know some homegirls you know maybe not considering that other person feelings all the time you know what I mean so being a thot? nah <laughs> <laughs> nah not being a thot okay faithful faithful 2020 <laughs> black men don't cheat hey but that... oh. <laughs> hey no but no nah, I, I mean I think it's just a lifestyle, especially like being in LA, man. Like it's it's, it's small, you know. Like it's a lot of jealousy that goes on, you know. Hey, I don't know. Okay, well, if people that you know may not know you right now, what would you describe yourself? How would you describe yourself for them so they can check out your music? Uh, shit, honest. You know what I mean. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with you. You know, uh, you know, niggas ain't perfect, but I think we try, we try, we try to get our shit together. And the older I get, you know, I feel like. Is as far as you know, the music is my duty to really like, you know, just speak that truth and like, you know, keep it a thousand with these young ladies out here. And I feel like, you know, dudes they look up to me too. You feel me? And um, uh, you know, yeah, just keep it a thousand. Just keep it honest. I think everybody I didn't dealt with, as far as like, you know, relationships and girls, every time I kept it honest, it was a one. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I try, I try to be, you know, sneaky or do some fuck shit, mm -hmm. you know, it it all it all it all went went downhill. So. Yeah, just honestly keeping it a thousand. Okay, all right. And so the video dropped yesterday. When is the actual project dropping? Project gonna be dropping this summer. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't gonna put out a date, but for sure before before summer up, y'all gonna have a whole project of music out for me for sure. Okay. So and then if like summer, if we have a summer, well, LA, y'all kind of worse than we are. We good. We opened up in Georgia. Y'all still locked down. Right? Hey, y'all, wow, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Boy, I, I've been seeing y'all shit. That shit crazy. Y'all are wild as hell. But, no, nah, Georgia opened up. I, I mean, L.A. is cool. I think L.A. getting there, I think we're not going to be, I think maybe like another month we'll, we'll, we'll be out. Yeah, because, I mean, everybody out here is chilling. Um, I think it's, yeah, I think we're going to have, I think we're going to have a, a summer for sure. Okay, so you got some summer anthems for us. You're going to be doing some tours, any of that? Man, hey, got, hey, I already had tours set up before all this shit happened. So um, now that I got more music out, you know, God willing, hopefully there's more opportunities that come. You know what I'm saying? And then by the time we do get out of this corona shit, we're just going to be outside fucking the streets up. Okay, because we definitely got to have a summer anthem, whether we in a house or not. And, you know, Hot Girl Summer was last year. City Boys this year. I mean, what's going on? You got to have something for the men, though. Nah, I got some, I got some, I got some shit for sure. Like I got okay. some dance, shit, I got some Caribbean shit, I got some club shit, I got, oh, I got God. all the shit. So I'm, I'm hitting all the dots on this shit. Are you Caribbean or anything, or is just something you doing? Nah, I mean, you know, it's you know, it's a lot of Creole people in my family. I'm from Texas, you know, a lot of us from Louisiana too. Um, you know, I'm mixed with like Native American and shit, but nah, no Jamaican, no Caribbean. All right, just Negro. Just Negro, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what's up. Well, definitely we um are looking forward to everything you drop in, and good luck with everything. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you having me. All right, thank you. All right.